Aloha kako. We are in the Senate chamber at the moment, live. We have not taken up uh, the vote for the uh, governor's uh, nominee for director of uh, Department of Land and Natural Resources. That's why we're here. We're here to cover it. Um, if you're, it's also being broadcast live on Olelo, Olelo uh, Channel 49. Uh, but they don't broadcast the recesses. You're, if you're watching that, you're probably uh, you're probably getting really bad uh, royalty-free music. And uh, still, everyone in red shirts here are against the nomination. That's like the sign, dress in red. Uh, so there are a number of red shirts here. Very controversial vote. The, uh, the nominee. Carlton Ching uh, was a lobbyist for land developer Castle and Cook. Castle and Cook itself was one of the uh, sugar plantation barons corporations that uh, backed the overthrow of the uh, Hawaiian nation in 1893. Uh, the Department of Land and Natural Resources is charged with preserving um, natural resources and has control of 1.8 million acres of ceded land, crown lands, uh, royal Hawaiian lands that were temporarily ceded to the authority of the U.S. Uh, to keep them out of the hands of the provisional government that back in 1893. So it's actually stolen Hawaiian lands. Uh, we don't... very valuable now. So. I see uh, some people here. Maybe we can get uh, commentary from from Bart. Although he knows that you know whatever he says goes out live. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what he has to say. Hello, guys. You no, I was lowering my monopod. Good. I'm. I'm having to. Uh... I was lo unloading a bunch of my pictures and stuff so I could have some room on my iPhone, but now that you're here, there's no need. <laughs> no, I'm just taking, you're up on the on the internet, so tell me, I just got here. I just got off work, I just got here. What do you think? Has anything changed? Do they have enough votes to Every, block the numbers? Everything has been in flux. Um, I'm feeling optimistic right now that uh, I'm thinking Singh will not have enough votes to pass. You think even but, with all the wheeling and dealing I've heard... Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure that the wheeling and dealing allegations were all accurate. Uh, I think that uh, people were looking for ways to spin it and grab onto things that may not have had a factual basis. Oh. So I'm not happy with some of the allegations that they made. Oh. Actually, I found that when Ige was chair of WAM, Yeah. He had a reputation for not using his WAM position to squeeze concessions from other senators, so which was unusual because usually a WAM chair can, can yeah. get people to bend to their will. Right, right. And he it's actually a powerful had a reputation position. the other way around. So um, it doesn't mean that maybe other people might not have been uh, squeezing soft parts. Uh, you know, but. Um, I think that actually it's been the uprising of the people, of the phone calls, the emails, the visits that uh, have caused know. a lot of senators to uh, to bend on, on their inclination. Unfortunately, a lot of them, I think, were predisposed to liking David, and therefore, because they like David, and David is yeah. vouching for Carlton, then they're going to let him have his guy. Yeah. And that's not constitutional. You're, you know, you're our... Um, you're my, like, uh, primary source for unfounded allegations. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, what, what, uh, so you're betting, you'd bet on the no side. I came here thinking that we had 11 or 12 votes. Yeah. Since arriving here this morning, I have found and picked up at least two more. So. That would put it, put it, oh, because you need. 13. You need 13. And so, whether they're actually going to have a vote or whether they're going to spare the, the process by withdrawing the nomination, I don't know. But I'll tell you, a lot of stuff we're working with are rumors and second-hand right. stuff. Right. So, you got to be prepared for anything to happen. 
Okay, I have a battery that will run nine hours. I'm ready. Oh, you want me to talk for eight and a half hours? <laughs> no, but I thought if Marty, if Marty has something... You have... Marty is ignoring me, but I'm not that's... You. They all left. Which may all be... All, all, all the other appointees every They left, suddenly. What? They got some kind of message. They know something we don't. And now the people that are watching know something we don't. I know that I'm more photogenic than, than Marty, but, you know, she's smarter than me. So. Okay. Oh, you're getting out of the way. <laughs> what, so what do you think? I, I just got here, so I'm trying to get a sense of uh, what's going on. And you are live on the internet. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Edit, please talk. Um, so they're in recess right now. The Senate convened at 11.30. They did roll call. Everyone was present. Um, they did some introductions and some niceties. And then they went to recess, a very prolonged recess. Um, and they came back and they did some other order of the day type things, passing yeah. bills out, um, and then uh, went into another short recess, which they're all just sort of conferring now on the floor, and we're all speculating about who's talking to who and what does it mean, mm. and we don't really know. Mm. Um, and we just noticed that the benches that were filled with the nominee supporters are now empty. Wow, that is so intriguing. They're talking together or being talked to or... They got, they got some notice that we didn't. We, they got info that we didn't. Okay, you want to make a bet? You, if, you, uh, no, if this were Vegas, you wouldn't... No, I never go to Vegas. <laughs> we that I went once, I'm not going back. <laughs> <laughs> I was stuck there for labor once for 18 yeah. hours. I am never going back. <laughs> oh, um, and uh, no, I'm not going to be willing to, to give a bet. Um, okay. I mean, this, is, this has been a So really, it is tight. It's very tight. It's yeah. been a very grueling experience. You know, for the nominee, for the public, for the senators, for the administration. I think it's just, we need just to get past this as quickly as possible. I, you know, I wrote a lot of emails. The only response I got back was from new Senator Breen Harimoto, who said a very firm no, even though he was being prevailed upon to uh, oh. change his mind. Yeah, I've um, actually been very impressed with um, Senator Harimoto's service um, as a senator. Uh, he's, he's a... Um, Person. He is. He was principled. He was so principled on the city council that he had to leave. <laughs> well, tell me, tell me. What? <laughs> Meets Kozla. Oh, she under, she understands. <laughs> what did he do on the city council? No, he was one of the few people that was very firmly against the criminalization well, of right, homeless right, right. people. So. Yeah, 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 voting always against the. I, I really uh, I appreciate most some of, of his comments. Other. I couldn't attend those hearings, but I read yeah. some of his comments. And I thought they were um, spot on. And, so. and a lot of his videos are on my YouTube channel. Oh, good. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Marty. Misko, you want to make. You have anything to say? Any um, prognosis? <laughs> I, I, thanks for telling people I am wearing a red shirt. I kept it in the trunk, put it on after work. <laughs> it must be important. Ed Grievy's here. <laughs> Ed Grievy's documented all the important, uh, all the important stuff. And I'm giving him a chance to like get me to. So there we go. Anything anyone want to say? Oh, and there's Will Caron. I am one of the few people that know how to pronounce yeah, his you name. <laughs> Caron. Yeah, you and Bart the same Oh, very good. Very good. That's uh, Evan. Nice seeing you, Evan Tector. For for your friends on uh, Facebook who have never seen you, Here's, this I, is almost in real life. I actually <laughs> exist. Occasionally come out of the valley. <laughs> Sometimes great. clean up. <laughs> you're not wearing a red shirt. Does that mean you're for the nomination? No. As a photographer, I need to appear neutral so I can get more better shots. <laughs> <laughs> If, if you blend in everywhere, sometimes you get shots you couldn't otherwise. So. I, I just got here. Any Anything, uh, any comment you want to make? Or? Well, if you read the tea leaves at this point, after a fairly long uh, recess, uh, uh, Mr. Ching's uh, supporters left the gallery. That. There's a big hole. The governor's right. people left the gallery, supposedly went up to the fifth floor. Um, if I had to guess, I'd, I'd say that there were insufficient votes in the Senate 
So they're going to withdraw. Uh, so they'll probably, they're waiting for the governor to withdraw the nomination. Oh, that would be so cool. That's Rather than a bitter showdown with people pissed off like crazy and yes. shouting things like, one, two, three, four, you're just another corporate whore and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I made that up. Uh, well, you should be way. a slogan here. There, <laughs> Some people accuse me of that. Yeah. I'm okay. surprised it got to this stage, though. Um, they, you know, yeah. There were at least, I think... Uh, nine, maybe ten confirmed no votes, and, and a whole bunch, another ten or eleven undecided. undecided. So mm. it seems really close, and it, it was a stretch that they were going to get a yes here, I think. So, But now we won't know. The Senate gets a little bit off the hook. We that, won't know what the individual senators that's stood right. for on the issue, right. although we do know, as they say, like about so nine or ten. Actually, for Ige, it would kind of be a smart thing to do to withdraw them and not force the vote. Well, the Senate may insist that um, the governor could, could, of course, continue and force a vote, yeah. um, If, but that, that doesn't seem to be in the cards at this point. The real question is... Why did the governor push him as far as he did? And who in right. his staff and in his administration or amongst his advisors got him to this point and got him to triple down on a really bad nomination? Yeah, yeah. And then the next question will be, what who? process will he go through in order to find an actually qualified, right. conservation-aligned uh, director for the DLNR? Um, maybe, you know, a, a, a Robert Harris or a Harry Kim or an Ainoa Thompson or some of the names right, I've seen kind right, of picked out there. Right. Um, but, uh, but the governor should be really questioning the advice he got and, 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 and who put him on this path. You know, I know David that's a is good, a, that's a good he's a reasonable point. guy, yeah. so there must be some influence that got him to this point. So, That's uh, having an impact, actually, a, a big impact on Ige himself, on his popularity. It really has, I think, expended a lot of his uh, uh, potential, you know, honeymoon and, yeah, and whatnot. Boy. People are really going to be paying attention to what all of his nominees do now. Um, some some of the other nominees were pretty uh, corporately oriented as well. Well, the, the deputy director of UNR. He's, I, he I, may be problematic too. That, um, that replaced uh, William Tam, who like practically wrote the water code. Yes. So questionable corporate influences in government need yeah. to be rooted out. You know, public interest is not private corporate interest. And right. you can't run government as a business. And um, it's time to really reverse the paradigm. We need to do really drastic, transformative things that preserve what's left, not eternally compromise ourselves into no more fish, no more land, no right, more water. Right. We already did that. We spent right. the capital of the next generation. So it's time to reverse that completely. Terrific. Hey, thanks, Evan. Evan Shoot. Tector. <laughs> Let's see. Will, you have anything to say? You're always getting comments from it's people. Jerk. Yeah, I... Um, Mike McCartney was just here. Uh, it looked like he handed something to the oh. Senate clerk. So. Oh, you're sharp eyes. Yeah, I took my glasses off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I guess. Uh, no, I guess the one downside of if the nomination is withdrawn is we won't get to see which way the senators will yeah. vote. Yeah. The, the only downside. You don't think uh, the uh, governor would withdraw the uh, nomination nominee? Uh, I, th I think he probably will actually. Honestly. We will see. Bianca, you have anything uh, you want to say? You're live on the internet. Always live streaming, Doug. I can't always get away from a computer, and I did it this time either, so it's always great. But I guess I would point out that most of the people that I know were supporting the nomination are no longer an audience. So they might know yeah. something that we will so soon know as well. Right. They were sitting in that puka right there. Yeah, yeah they're gone now. Yeah, or maybe just busy people. But I, I suspect that we will hear things soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Okay, now this is also being live streamed on Olelo. Thank you, Olelo Channel 49. They don't cover the recesses. So actually, during the recesses is where I get to uh, do stuff and talk to people. And that was uh, Ed Grevy. There he is with his camera. He's now taking uh, 
video also it's getting quiet. Okay, we're coming back here. What the hell just happened there? It's withdrawn. It's withdrawn. I, was, I missed. There we go. Let's go outside. So the uh, governor withdrew it. Didn't have to go to a vote. Probably lacked the votes. Oh God! It was flat. How do anybody know somebody? He picks a fox to guard the chicken house. Castle. Lobbyists. Okay, that's it, friends. Thank you.